Rub up your engines! Toyota Yaris is a lot of guys think tiny little puddle jumper can't get out of its own way. Well, the guy who owns this used to own a GT500 Mustang. He likes this better. This thing can get 37 miles a gallon. When I had a GT500, I was getting three miles a gallon, so quite a bit better, you know? But it's not slow either because they can be modified to your heart's content. Now he bought it for $12,900 and that was 150,000 miles ago. Still looks good, still runs good. Now this is a Yaris SE and as you can see on the door, check it out, it is made in Japan. We'll open the hood. We've got a 1.5 liter Toyota engine. It's a 1NZFE engine. These things can basically run forever if you take care of them. I mean, he's still getting 36, 37 miles on a gallon. Doesn't burn oil. They are really well-made engine. And in this case, not one of those stinking automatic transmissions. It's a factory five-speed standard. Now he likes driving. He put a TRD suspension, so it's gonna be a much tighter suspension. He put a short shifter on it so he can shift it. A pretty fast little Econo box car, let me tell you. You can modify these things if you want. They're generally not like Hondas. Hondas, all the young kids are nuts about Hondas, so they soup them up. And most people in the United States, they really don't mess with Yaris's. So in his case, it's kind of a sleeper car. Most people have no idea when they see this and they oh look, it's a Toyota Yaris. Uh, you know, it's cheaper than the Corolla. But at the same time, it's ultra dependable Toyota technology. You can see most of these parts still are original parts. The AC still blows cold. He put TRD caps on it. Like he said, not that that does anything. He likes the look of it. He's got a K&N air filter. You can buy a basic good one like this made in Japan, the SE. If you've ever driven one of these with an automatic transmission, they're like Corollas. They're basically can run forever, but they're rather underpowered with that automatic transmission. They're not that much fun to drive. Every customer I had that really loved the Yaris's with an automatic, they were generally older people that drove slower. They wanted a car that they don't have to shift, that they just put it in gear and drive around. And they loved the cars, but they weren't zippy like this thing. Take a look inside before we take it for a drive. It's set up pretty well. You can see it now has 177,000 miles on it. Start it up. As you can see, it's nicely set up. Silver dials, tack, speedometer, fuel gauge, simple, easy to use, mechanical switches, not all computerized stuff. Yeah, it's old school. It's got an MP3 player and a CD player too, because it is somewhat older. Nice mechanical brake, that's what I like. And you can turn the traction control off. Track off, track on. Decent color interior. It's a small car. It's got average small car room in the back. Nothing outrageous, but you can still fit in there. As you can see, Seats back, I still have some room, and they're pretty comfy little seats, let me tell you. You can get three people in here. Now, it does have a small trunk, there's no arguing that. There's a trunk, but you can still put it down and fit some stuff in there. So let's take it for a spin. It's a Toyota, so it starts up, and it kept the stock exhaust, so it doesn't make noise. Now, it's relatively low to the ground, but it doesn't ride all that bad. You're gonna get a somewhat bumpy ride, because it's a short wheelbase car. There is nothing you can do about that. Plus, watch this, it's gonna handle really well on the curves. Hey, he didn't even know you're supposed to turn, he did. No problem whatsoever. It's going to be somewhat rough riding, but that's for the handling. Same thing with the brand new Toyota Camry. If you get a TRD, it's going to handle somewhat rough, but it's going to drive like a race car. You can corner like mad, but you're going to feel the bumps. Doubly so on the short wheelbase car like this. Being a small car, it brakes really nice because it doesn't weigh all that much, and it does have four-wheel discs on it. Head to the drag strip to see what this little Econo box, supposedly car, can do. And he always turns the traction control off so we won't have any problems with that right here we go now we're gonna come to a stop and see what this thing can do and here we go yep it can burn out because the traction controls turn off and let me tell you you can hear that engine even with a stock exhaust it has a nice sound and he does have the short shift so you can shift this baby quick so you might rethink your idea of a Yaris as being an Econobox car it is not just like if you know anything about cars for a long time, the English sports car Lotus had Toyota engines in them. The small one has the same engine as my Matrix has, only it's souped up quite a bit. This is kind of a smaller version of that. It's a souped up four-cylinder little engine with a short shifter and a good suspension system. 
it's a lot of fun to drive. Now, like I said, if you did have an automated transmission, you would be sorely disappointed at how it takes off, but this is a standard. And if you did get an automatic, it would be entirely dependable. It would run, it would go a long time, they don't have problems. It's just that you lose a lot of the fun and the acceleration on one of these things if you don't get a standard transmission, but regardless, either way, it would be a very dependable car. And beats driving one of these on the twisties because he souped up the suspension, making it even better than it originally was. Now, I especially like his hitch. He found this on the road. He actually collects dead deer and processes them, but he found that, so he decided to stick it on. And yes, he does tow stuff with this. Oh, he's not carrying a 10 ton trailer. He's got a jet ski and it's rated for the jet ski and trailer and he uses it all the time. Backs it in the water, takes it out. You wouldn't think so, but he could tow a lot more if he really wanted to, but it's only rated up to that. In a pinch, he could do more if he really had to. Now with all this mileage and he's not a slow driver, let's see what the old computer says. I got yet another scanner to try out. Plug it in. It's automatically doing auto detect. I like that. I don't have to push any buttons. You can see it's it's going through it pretty fast so far everything's no codes oh there's something air conditioning it works perfectly fine freezing cold but we'll see what that says ambient temperature sensor circuit they got a circuit to measure it inside at times they see if the sun's too hot and they counteract it hey it blows cold what does he care <laughs> also says there's an open in the turn signal circuit they're working perfectly fine so we don't care about that either go to the old data for the engine start it up and we will read the data stream. And I gotta say, it's got an awful lot of information. It's got 226 points of data. Here we go on a data stream ride. And here we have the airflow sensor. Now the worst value is 0.015. Okay, 0.000 is perfect. I say it's running pretty good. <laughs> air fuel ratio one is perfect there it's perfect oh now it's three one thousands oh now it's one one thousands off that's pretty close to perfect so it's running good but uh, the owner told me he drives the heck out of it doesn't burn any oil at all reminds me of a video i just shot this morning where one of your viewers sent me a email and in it was a screenshot of his owner's manual this is a brand new toyota and it said and i quote if your car is using more than one quart of oil every 600 miles. Contact Toyota. If not, well, that's normal. Normal? This thing's got 177,000 miles on it. The guy drives like a maniac. He used to own a Mustang GT500. He's got all kinds of crazy muscle cars. He drives the heck out of it. This still doesn't burn any oil. Why are they warning people about a quart every 600 on their new ones? Maybe quality ain't what it used to be. So we'll look at some more information on this old, well-made one. And as you can see, misfire count. Zero, 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 no misfires. Now, check this out. This is how insane these cars are. Engine speed of cylinder. One, two, three, four. They're all 51,199.22. They are all exactly the same. I mean, usually they're off a few thousands or something. These are all exactly the same. That is just insanity how well made these engines are. Even check out the MAF sensor. The MAF sensor is 1.450 grams a second. That's pretty much perfect too because it's a 1.5 liter engine. They're supposed to be about the same. Well, that's pretty close there. The total fuel trim is cylinder number one is minus 0.059. Okay, in most cars, if it's two or 3%, that's okay. Well, this is almost perfect. 0.059. Hey, hey, this is a pretty good scanner for the money. Look what it's done. Showed out great shape. This is, of course, if you want, you can graph stuff. I mean, it does graphing too. So there you have it, a Toyota Yaris. And yes, it is running. You can barely hear it. And it has 177,000 miles on it. It's no slouch. Now it is the SE, granted. He souped it up a little, but it's made in Japan. It shows the quality that at least they used to have. Almost running perfect. Driven by a man who drives hard. Put a ton of miles on it, and it still pretty much runs the same. And really, it's a sharp looking car too. If you look at the early Yaris, it's not so sharp. Horrible little tiny one dash things that look like crap. This looks like a real car. I'd love to drive one of these around but I'll probably never buy one because my wife likes smooth rides. She would be mad that it rides too rough. So she'd never like it, so I'm not gonna go out and buy one. But if you're looking for a car that can run a long time and you don't care about speed, uh, you can get one with an automatic. Or if you wanna soup one up like this, get one with a five speed made in Japan. You'd be surprised at what one of these can do, how long it can do it, and how quietly it's still running. 
So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.